Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, right? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said, if Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't have powers. The important thing to determine is if we're actually infected with FP Hall. So you don't think we are then? No. In fact, a virus called Fanatic Bio R existing in the first place is very suspicious. Radical 6 sounds just as fantastical. No. There's no doubt that Radical 6 is real. Of it before. Well, it could be that Zero wants us to become infected with Radical Six. But instead of doing it himself, for some reason he's unable to. So he needs us to do it ourselves then. Hey, what the. The door! It opened! Let's get out of here! If we're too slow, then the door might up and close on us. Wait, Eric! <laughs> hey, Mira! What are you doing? must have been right not to inject it. I still feel okay, and more importantly, the door opened for us. There's still another possibility, you know. That Zero really does have the ability to see the future. If it's true, then we would have been right if we had injected the needles too. Hey, did you tell the truth earlier? About what? About Radical Six being real. Oh. Um, yeah. How do you know about it? Well, I'm not sure. Did you get any more suspicious? I know what I know, okay? I can't help that. So why not share? Tell us more about this Radical Six virus. More. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start. How about its name? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Aside from triggering intense suicidal impulses, Radical Six causes the infected's thought process to reduce by one root six. Therefore, when one second passes for them, the world has gone through root six seconds, or roughly 2.45 seconds. There is also the word radical. Aside from meaning things like extreme, it can also refer to a radical root. Get it? So that's why it's Radical Six. But is it really possible for thought speed to be slowed down like that? Yep. The infected, through changes in DNA methylation and histone modification, gain epigenetic mutations in the control mechanisms of their genetic expressions. Uh, wait! Could you maybe simplify that, please? Oh, the body's composition changes as a genetic switch is flipped? More or less. A genetic... Switch? Hmm. Huh. Uh, let's try this. A common scientific thought, until now, was that parental characteristics didn't transfer. Recent research has changed that. We now know that they can be, by flipping certain genetic switches. Well, regardless of what kind of experiences the parents had to go through, their DNA blueprints won't change. But, within that expansive DNA coding, the question of what should be read seems to change based on experience. The change becomes especially apparent when the parents' lives are in danger. Like, maybe if someone was trapped in a shelter and forced to risk their life. So, if Eric and I did the horizontal tango right now, the baby might end up psychic. What? Anyway, so if Radical Six really does flip the genetic switch... Hey, are you listening? Uh, yeah. So, 
you're basically saying this Radical 6 virus is super dangerous, right? Yes, there's no doubt it is. So Zero said earlier that Radical 6 transmits through bodily fluids and is highly infectious. If someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then... Then... Mankind? Six billion people? will die. Six billion? Now announcing the current casualties. C Team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X-Passes will be revealed. Fire, crash, five, that is all. What the hell? C-Team is dead? It's obviously because of the vote. The vote? At 13.30. Then... But wait! Did everyone from C-Team really die? We haven't seen their corpses or anything! They might still be alive! No. They're dead. I'm sure of it. Why? Because. He's right. I don't think they're alive. You too, Mira? Uh... What do you think, old man? C-Team's gotta be alive, right? What are you doing, Eric? He's not gonna answer you. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he... Can speak? Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Are these things... robots? Yeah. Are they real? I doubt they're model toys. Hey! Hello? He's not very friendly. It's probably just out of power. Still, why would these things be in this room? Looking around, I'd say they were being made here. Made? Yeah. Zero's probably manufacturing them. It does say this room is manufacturing on the map. Uh, um, Sigma. Why did you get quiet all of a sudden? Oh, no reason. Damn. It's locked. I guess we're trapped in here. Again? Again? Diana, what time is it? It's 1810. There's no use wasting time in a place like this. Let's just find some way out of here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 